Oh, okay. Get it, I guess. We're back again to play some games. We are back with Ikiman Vampire and we are reaching the finale. We've got, what, two more chapters and then the dramatic or romantic, depending on what we choose. So that's just three more chapters. So um, last time I came in Vampire, uh, Leonardo saved us and then he passed out because he, he got hurt. He let himself get shot a lot. He lost a lot of blood. And yeah. So before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social media. It's always in the description below and we can get started. Leonardo chapter 24. We got back to the mansion without Leonardo regaining consciousness. Nor do you wake up the next morning. So he's like, I, he's in like a hibernation. I don't know, like he's recovering, but he has to sleep. Nor do you wake up the next morning or the next evening either. I sat in his room where he lay on his bed. All I could do was pray he will wake soon. Lee Comte assured me as a pure blood, Leonardo would be all right. I just have to be patient. But his assurance alone wasn't enough. Would he really wake up again? He had been so hurt. Leonardo was alive. That much was true. I checked his pulse so many times I lost count. I held his hand, squeezing it tight in mine. Leonardo, you had better wake up soon. At that moment, he squeezed my hand back. Mm. He's waking up. Leonardo shifted around on the bed before sitting up and looking around. Mm -hmm. Leonardo, I threw my arms around him. Ow! Carmen Mia, watch it. How many times do you think I got shot, yeah? It still hurts. I'm sorry. What was I thinking? I can't believe. Leonardo doubled over with laughter. What are you... <laughs> teased you? Oh. No wounds. See for yourself. He shrugged out his shirt and was completely whole without even a scar. Lee Comte had told me he had healed that way, but only when I saw Leonardo for myself did I truly believe it. Come on, Carmia. You should be mad at me for making such a mean joke. Say something funny like, I didn't ask you to get naked for me. Like that. My sense of humor took a vacation while you spent two days in a coma. Excuse me. That was mean of you, though. Do you know how worried I was? If we never woke up again, if that was the last time I heard your voice or held you, I think I'd have gone crazy. I'm so glad. Go ahead and joke. Everything's right now. Uh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're awake. Leonardo, Leonardo smiled sadly. Sit down with me. He moved to make room on his bed. I need you close. I sat down beside him. Leonardo stroked my hair softly. He looked at me, not saying anything. I guess it's your turn to stay? Check in to make sure you're unhurt. I didn't get a good look at that theater. Glad you're alright. I'm a real G, I don't get hurt. The first thing he does after waking up is check if I'm alright. Oh Leonardo. I'm so happy to be loved by him. It wasn't just his eyes. It was in the long, tender strokes of his hand. Of course I'm all right. You kept everyone safe. At great cost to yourself. Leonardo, I feel bad that... You don't need to feel bad, Carmia. I guess not. I know why you did it. That you do it again. Thank you for protecting everyone. That's better. For a moment, I let myself take in the sight of him. Alive and beautiful. I felt relieved he was well again. But more than that, being with him made me feel whole. What happened when I was out? Well, after you, uh, fell asleep, Theo had arrived with the police. They arrested Mur Murray and his group. Those few who had fled were caught too. I see. In time, they'll all come to realize the mistakes they've made. I mean, that's what happened for me. I had a feeling when Mori mentioned alchemy that Leonardo had some background in it himself. The way he spoke, it sounded too personal. 
I wasn't going to pry, but judging by the look in his eyes, Leonardo guessed I was curious. You mind if I tell you an old story about me? I don't mind. Are you sure you're okay with talking about it? Yeah, I want you to know. Leonardo folded his hands, his expression trained on the distant past. A long time ago, I attempted that forbidden art. Thought with the knowledge, the tools, I could construct an immortal human being. Why did you try to do that? Put simply, he was lonely. He was lonely. He wanted to, he wanted to build, make somebody to, uh, to hang with him. Put simply, Leonardo's expression tightened, fighting, fighting a losing battle against crushing sadness. I knew it. I didn't want to be alone. I felt my heart break. Leonardo just wanted someone like him. Ah. We pure bloods. We can turn mortals into lesser vampires and share a fraction of immortality with them. Mm, okay, okay, so lesser vampires do get a longer life. Not, not, they're not immortal, but they do get a long life. Just a fraction. But those lesser vampires too will die in time. The other residents, they'll all die before me. Tell me. What would you do if you could live forever? Okay, let me answer this for real. What would y'all do? If y'all could live forever. That's a hard question, actually. <laughs> it's a really hard question. What would I do if I could live forever? I don't know, just travel and never stop traveling. But yeah, I would just travel forever. Why not? And then I had changed identities every so often. That's a hard question. <laughs> There's nothing to do, actually. Natural question, Carmia. Just say what comes to your mind. No judgment here. Then I probably sleep half the day. Read all the books I wanted, travel around the world. Yeah, same as me. Love doing all those things. Thought everyone else would too. Did you already? He probably traveled all over the place already. But night, night, you can travel all over the world multiple times because everything keeps changing. So I guess you'll never get bored. No matter how much time you see stuff, it's always going to change. Um, the childlike wonder vanished. How people would be happy with eternity. I would grant their greatest wish. I worked under the uh, spice, uh, spices of the church. Whatever. Though they didn't know what I was really doing. Got close, I think, to the secret. Leonardo unclasped his hands, looked at them, then clasped them shut and closed his eyes. Centuries of regret in that one action. Instead of making someone happy, I'd just be sharing my curse with another. How could I foolishly spend all the time researching how to make someone immortal when I hated my own eternal life? How could I do another to watch the endless parade of deaths when it still hurts me every time someone dies. But the funeral, yeah? It's just, at John Paul's funeral, you were so stoic. You didn't show your sadness at all. I recalled his smile, that carefree smile in the sunset as we said goodbye to John Paul. He looked peaceful. I agree. He looked like he was smiling. Probably was. John Paul was always smiling about something. To be honest, when I saw that, I started to believe you must have gotten used to death after so many centuries. Not at all. You had it right the first time. Dead means they're gone. You'll never see them again. I've never once gotten over it. Never. His low voice threatened to break. But crying doesn't bring anyone back. I could have extended their life with a single bite, but selfishly, I don't. So, I can't cry. I don't have the right to cry. Leonardo had been crying that day at the funeral. He just didn't show it. He was an expert after centuries of practice. He's been lonely for so long, not only has he convinced himself he doesn't deserve anyone, he can't let himself be sad either. Leonardo was living in an eternity of self-imposed loneliness. 
an eternity of shame and guilt. It's strange, never able to share my life with others, to live in a world of people who will grow old and leave me behind. And yet, Carmia, I just can't bring myself to stay away from humans. The glow in Leonardo's eyes were dim, growing dimmer, but it was not yet faded. That golden light of his was beautifully stubborn. It would be easier to spend eternity alone than let it hurt each time, but I can't do it. Why do you stay with humans? Because you're the most beautiful creatures I can think of. But why? Tell me, really. I think you're still hiding something. Maybe you've been hiding it for a long time. I want to know what's in your heart. Say what comes to your mind. No judgments, remember? Leonardo looked over from me, searching for the words. It might sound like an excuse coming from me. But I think human mortality gives them purpose. It makes them keep going, having reason to value every moment they've got. We talked about something similar before. When I see them, I think to myself, so that's what it's like being alive. And what do you mean? to be alive. Life has its tragedies. It's unfair some days, when others makes you want to give up. In spite of that, they find ways to smile. I think there's nothing more beautiful. No better way to honor their being alive. I have been struck by those words then, but I was only beginning to understand them now. My familia will call you frail. I think you're strong and beautiful. You do more with your time than we try to do with ours. But just like I couldn't give you eternity, I couldn't achieve your mortality either, no matter what I did. I couldn't truly understand what it was like, but I understood the pain it gave Leonardo. I learned the secret yearning of that smile he wore that day. It was his yearning to be mortal. Instead of wasting time regretting, I tried to live beside the humans I love. It hurts to see their lives come to an end, but I can't stay away. Because they die someday, I was prepared to spend eternity carefully watching them. Just watching them. Then you come along and you start to change that. You know what I thought? First time I saw you? You mean when I found you asleep in the hallway and you grabbed me and called me Karamia? I have nowhere. Nostalgia for, for that memory flickered in his eyes. I assumed you were thinking, nice pillow. <laughs> you are nice and soft. Can't deny that. I saw you and thought, who is this little human girl? Looks lost. Someone should probably say something nice to her. Little human girl? Wait, when he means say something nice to me, he's not thinking, hello there, dearie, is he? You call me Kara the way the nice ladies in the shops do? I'm so disillusioned now. Don't be mad. No judgment, remember? I'm just telling you what I thought. Leonardo laughed it off with a low, husky laugh. Even when he cut my face in his hands. I wasn't mad. I felt so cherished. I leaned to his touch. That was my first impression. Now you really are my dear one. Sweet Carmia, my only beloved. Leonardo. That said, when I first took you as my compagna provocia, my temporary lover, I planned to leave you to your own business. I found out I couldn't do that. When I saw you crying, I wanted to make you smile. When you were smiling, you made me happy, and I wanted to make you smile more. He gently brushed his thumbs over the contour of my face. Do you know what they say about the humans that Zeus divided? When they find their other half, they immediately fall in love. And they will not want to be out of each other's sights for a moment. I've never once been able to look away from you. I knew what he was telling me. His words touched those places inside of me that come to guard cautiously. But you always pretend you weren't interested in me and rode off as a joke. As happy as I was to hear him admitting it so openly now, I needed to understand. Why are you telling me this now? Look at your hand. My hand? Leonardo indicated the watch with his eyes. It's almost time for us to say goodbye. But Leonardo, I don't have to. His eyes caught mine. He shook his head. 
don't want you to bear so much sorrow you forget to live. I love the way you live now. I just want you to remain who you are. I can't make you what I am or risk turning you into something else. So I will never turn you into a vampire. I didn't understand where his pain came from, but I knew it was real. Leonardo opened his heart to me. I listened. I love you too much to do that, Lord. He spoke my name with so much tenderness. It was one of the many ways he always showed his love for me. I never wanted to be a vampire. For me, it was never about living a longer life. It was about being with you. But what I do need from you and I to start spending the precious limited time we have making each other happy. There was a real barrier in, his, in this relationship, but we had taken down the false ones we built. So I threw my arms around Leonardo and I pushed him down on the bed. Oh, okay. Get it, I guess. Premium story. Carmia. Tears stole my eyes. Now is not the time to cry. I grabbed Leonardo's shirt in my fingers. You are so stubborn. You tell me after centuries of loneliness. You finally found the person you're looking for. In the same breath, you act as if you're ready to let me go. In his gaze, I saw he didn't deny it. You should consider it, Leonardo. You've been taking care of me since I met you. But just as once, I want him to think of himself. If I don't act now, you'll be at that door tomorrow, wishing me goodbye. You'll smile and say, ciao, Carmia. Or alas, ciao, of light in your heart goes out. You often decided it was right for me. Now I'm, just, now I'm turning the tables on you. I took a deep breath. I had agonized over this decision, but I was ready now. Perhaps I had known what my decision was going to be for a long time. Yes, I am just a human. I'm mortal. I won't live forever the way you will. I accept that, and I'm okay with that. He looked at me, listening intently. Which is why I want to spend my entirely mortal, entirely human life with you. The last time my emotions ran away from me was that frightening night we had hurt each other. But this time, with all the knowledge I had, I knew the storm would lead me right. I know it's going to be difficult for us both. That love, as beautiful as it is, doesn't solve every problem. Carmia. My warm tears dropped into his shirt, darkening it where they fell. Another had feared those tears, that he was only capable of making me cry, when I knew he was capable of doing so much more. But we both deserve that love, this one chance to be together. He drew in a breath. I hesitated to look into his eyes. I knew the power they had to make me reconsider, and I needed to get this out. I'm ready to try and face those problems. In fact, I look forward to the chance to go stronger at your side. Because the person I am when I'm with you is the person I want to be. Complete. That was it. That's all I had to say. Just as I finished, Lena slipped an arm around me. Whoa! He drew me into a sudden strong embrace. Leonardo? With his other hand, he stroked my hair. I really worry about you. I worry. I worry because you're so beautiful and so sweet and have such a good heart. I kept my eyes away from him as long as I could. I look now. My heart was still aflame by what I saw. If Leonardo's passion for me, roiling behind that smoldering gaze, happened to burn me in that moment, I wouldn't even mind. <sighs> if you're gonna grow even better at my side, what am I supposed to do? I have some suggestions. You're the genius. You can start by kissing me, though. I like that a lot. Something grew more powerful in his eyes as he gave himself over to his own feelings. In fact, I want more. Mm, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> so there was a premium story that I did, but um, we had to skip over it <laughs> because it's rated R, but not that R. But enough that I don't think YouTube will like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip over it for my own sanity. 
So me and Leonardo are together. I'm not sure if my character wants to like stay or leave. So we're gonna see what she chooses because the time is almost up. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media. It's always in the description below and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.